Hi, my name is Joni Eisinger. Welcome to my channel. It's time for April 2023 Love Reading for Singles, Dating, Living Together, and Marrieds. I put my Joni aside. I make it sacred space, put white light protection around myself. I call on the highest of Christ's light, meaning the enlightened ones, and I see what messages they have for those who will be watching. Spirit knows who's watching and when. There are no timestamps on this video. Take what resonates, put the rest on the shelf. Remember, this is for the collective, so it might not match with everyone. And please see your healthcare, mental health, financial advisor, professionals. This is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks. Here we go. So generally there's a ruckus and people are all um, scurrying around trying to find who. I see just like a lot of interactions and a lot of trying to find out. So calm down. Damn, there's no rush. Please do not pressure, put any pressure on yourself. No one said that you had to. People just feel all um, revved. There's a lot of very good energy, but I do feel that people are pushing themselves to know who is who, who they want, what to do. How do we make this better? How do I refine this? slow and pull back. I just did an April energies reading and it's really grand. It's, it's quite good. And so I, I'm now seeing as I channel, I'm seeing the, the crossover, the parallel that with this expansive, yummy energy, um, take the leap, jump, go, that it it filters into the love area, but people uh, need with their determination and they're scouting around or they're being positioned with someone, just hold on with this exciting energy. Pull back a bit. Refrain from jumping into something that isn't right, that isn't yours. Let's see more what spirit has to say. I'm, I'm going to go over to the singles first. Know who you are. Be very clear about who you are. If you have not defined who you are, it will be difficult to manage this weaving in and out and this, you know, flurry of exciting um, adventure regarding dating. Take time, peace, calm. And, and you'll you'll get this. You'll understand. If you find at the beginning of the month, month that you're stumbling, it's because the energy is so big. And what you need to do is go, ah, there you go. Sit down. Take a breath. Wait. Calm. Forgive if needed and enjoy and relax. And, and with that, it's kind of like managing the exciting energies without getting caught up in it like a riptide. Let's see about the dating, folks. It's Again, there's this flurry of information, and I see a lot of you wanting to get information. So proceed, pace yourself, and ask a lot of questions. This is a time to explore and get to know the person. The more you know, the better it is because you want to know whether it's a match. So you might want to write down some of your questions if you keep forgetting what to ask them. Um, again, the more you know. Um, it's just not like you have to do deep dives into the person early on, but just explore with this person or these people how they are, what their interests are and their values, and you'll, you'll understand why the question asking is so important now. I'm going to go in regarding the living togethers and this energy. It's pretty fun. The two of you, it's like you're riding on a camel and it's a little bit bumpy. There are some bumps in the road, but you're doing it together. You're both on this camel. You're able to ride the camel together. And you're going into unknown territory together, um, having a blast. I really feel, I don't know if you're going on a getaway or a retreat, if there's a workshop you're doing together, 
but your honey bun, whatever, why I'm supposed to be saying that, is um, just a real doll and you're really having a great time with each other. Take it easy and refresh. So if you need to revisit something and clear it up and then toss it because it's all it's worked through, do it. I'm going to see about those marrieds. It's fun. This is a good month. Um, you're moving towards something you want. You might feel pressured or hurried, but pace yourself. And if there are any kids involved, they know, they feel it. It's kind of exciting and they're waiting. I wouldn't just say hush to them. If they ask some questions about this, give them pieces, whatever is age appropriate, and they'll understand um, there are some in-laws involved that might be badgering. It's okay. Um, give them a little bit of room to say what they need to say, and then you pull back a bit because it's much. And Spirit wants me to share that some are very dear, so not all in-laws in are badgering. There are many that are rooting for. But for the ones where there are in-laws involved and there's some pushing and prying, you know what to do. You've done it before. And if the other partner needs to do it, then ask for their assistance. I'm going to go in and see what Spirit has to say for more regarding the April love. So some of you have this idea, two is better, two is better, two is better. Who said? Who said? So for those of you that want to break up, take time out and see whether this person is assisting you, whether they are being of service, whether they are a necessary part in your, your soul growth, whether you don't like what they're saying, but what they're saying is really true and honest and you're breaking free because you don't want to work on yourself. If a breakup is necessary, then you do what your heart guides you to do. I am not telling you to break up. I'm not telling you to stay. This is for you to do. You go into your search engine, your heart and figure out what you need to do. This two is better than one. Sometimes people need to be alone. They need to be solo. They need to work on themselves and heal self before they add another person into their lives. If you have written a script that you are better off with another person and you haven't done your internal work and there are broken parts, that person is going to possibly mirror your broken parts. They might point them out to you. And if you resent them for pointing it out, that's your bad. That is their job. They're being of service. And that your higher self probably called them in to do so for your healing. Work on self, complete self. And then anyone after that is a welcome addition to your whole work through self doesn't mean that we're all worked through. There's always, we're all works in progress, but work through your issues and your vibration will go up and then you will be meeting another of a similar vibration. Yes, there's healing involved with every relationship, but the more you work on self, the higher you will be drawing in folk. I'm going to keep going in. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't know it it almost I don't know wh whether it's singles dating living together or married but I see a lot of kids that are pushing and wanting and they're needy don't shut them up with food don't shut them up with TV listen to them they need you they want you talk to them don't ignore them they are your friend they are part of your soul group whether they're stepkids half-step kids, your kids, adopted kids, foster kids, care, you're caregiving them. Whatever the case is, these kids that are pestering you need you and you need to explore what they're asking of you, their family. And you will love that when you listen to them and you take care of them that way. I'll see about more for love. 
If you see a couple that is a great match, you can hold that space for yourself and believe that you are able to create a loving duo like that. If that type of couple comes on your path or into your reality, onto your movie set, it means that spirit is showing you that it is possible for you to enliven your life with another that is of similar and of joy and very well paired. You need to believe it's possible. Grow into that belief if you have doubt. Take steps towards being social, being out there, being available, and any anxiety can pass if you work through issues regarding fear and doubt. Spirit says, if there is trouble in paradise, you need to work on this. Avoid not, face yes. Spirit is just rounding this off with, you are doing great. And Yeshua and Mary and many, 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 many souls are supporting you and blessing you. They are cheering. There are divine ones Ascended masters, archangels, guides, departed ones, elementals, star beings, consciousnesses on high that sit with you and talk to you. And if you are of another faith where you don't believe in Jesus and Mary, it is fine. There are many, many, many high souls that work with you around endearment, heart, love of self and other family, and creating partnership. I hope this assists you and enjoy this, enjoy this time, and I will see you in May for a May Love Reading. Bye, y'all.